Hey everyone, today I am at Cape Nelson Light Station. It is quite overcast this morning. This is, uh, this is meant to be sunrise. There are a couple of colors happening in the clouds, um, which I'll show to you guys in a moment when I show you the scenery. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's quite windy and quite overcast. So it's quite a spectacular place though. Um, I am a little bit nervous being on this cliff edge uh, in the wind because I mean, yeah, the, the winds are, are pretty ridiculous. So hopefully no wind takes me that way because I don't want to end up in the ocean and I don't want my stuff to end up in the ocean either. Uh, and the winds are like really crazy. This being limestone as well, I don't like to be too close to the edge because often what happens with limestone is it looks solid from the top and underneath there can be like a huge amount of erosion. All right, let me show you guys the view. So, I really love this cliff edge. And then up here we have the lighthouse. And you can see there's little bits of pink happening in the sky but not like a particularly huge amount um, and yeah this is this is the sunrise it's quite beautiful actually wow can you guys see this there's some sun rays coming through the sky over there it's so beautiful all right so here we go with the time lapse and i'm just oiling my wooden board as you can see i've put my gopro a little bit further away from me than normal and that's because I was a little bit concerned that it might blow over the cliff if I had it too close to the cliff edge. And even though I was still a couple of meters in from the cliff edge, I was quite nervous because it was windy. And yeah, as I said, these cliffs are limestone, so you don't really know what you're standing on. I'm super happy with my drawing up. You can see that that's all in and um, it actually already looks like the scene, which is exciting. Um, and Actually, while I was painting this one, it was kind of unusual. There was a couple of police officers and then they went away after like a little while. And then there was this police helicopter that sat in the sky behind me for like, I don't know, it felt like 20 minutes. I turned off my GoPro at the time when it happened because I was like, oh, I don't know, like, I, I, I sort of wanted to film it, but then I was like a bit nervous and I was like, I don't know if I'm allowed to film that. And like, I didn't want to get in trouble. Um, however... Yeah, it sat there for like 20 minutes and I just was like, okay, that was weird. And then when I finished painting this painting, I had some police officers come up to me and they asked me about a missing person. So I was pretty keen to get out of the area. The next day I was meant to be stopping at somewhere that was uh, like big sand dunes, like still fairly close to the area. But I changed my mind on that when I heard there was a missing person. I was like, I don't want to be near sand. It is really soft and very easy to bury anything in so you know I was a bit unnerved and I was like that's it no um so thankfully they didn't tell me about this till after I'd finished my painting though and I do have a slight theory about it because when I looked at the weather forecast going backwards for the previous week um it had actually been like really windy in the few days before so my theory is that if he was there on one of those days he may have been walking along the cliffs and actually gotten blown off because I found it windy on the day I was there but it was like a third of the amount of wind that there was like in the week before so um yeah that's my theory but I don't know and I probably shouldn't guess these things anyway don't listen to me I shouldn't be guessing these things right so the painting uh you can see a lot's happened um uh, so I've got water in there and I'm working on my cliffs and oh my gosh I loved these cliffs like this this was so much fun to paint. I, I really love limestone. I did actually make a mistake while painting this cliff face though. And you know, I, I block in my dark color first and then I put in my cliff face. Um, but when I made the dark color, one of the dark colors I made like really blue and the other one like really purple. And so it just didn't match up. And you can see that the undertones aren't matching up. So I will actually go over this and redo the cliff face. Oh, there, it's gone over. Um, my battery must have died. Uh, okay, so yes, I've blocked it back in with a dark color again, and this time I'm trying again and trying to keep the color a bit more consistent, and I think it's working much better. It's really fun painting limestone cliffs because they've got like a lot of, uh, a lot of different layers to them, and 
yeah, just the way that the light falls on them is really nice. You will see me adjusting my easel a lot during this painting, and that's because the wind kept loosening the bolts. I'm kind of thinking maybe I might need to buy a new easel. Thankfully, however, I did make it through the entire painting without my painting blowing off my easel, which is really good because it was seriously threatening to blow off the easel at some points. And so now I'm just blocking in the rest of the color on the canvas and I'm about ready to throw in some details. So I'm putting in a lighter color for my cliff top and I'm just kind of working on that a little. And now I'm working on the little hut that's next to the lighthouse. So I tried to search, but I really couldn't find any answer as to what the function of the hut that's next to the lighthouse is. And it's really cute, kind of hard to paint because it's kind of hexagonal shape and has a lot of um, little slats of wood going across it, but it's so tiny in my picture that painting that was actually quite challenging. So now I'm working a little bit more on my lighthouse. I'm adding in the handrail that goes around the balcony and also I've just added in the windows and I'm just going to jump between the lighthouse and the little hut and get those looking completed and then I'll go back to working on my landscape because obviously these are a bit further back than a lot of the bushes and stuff so I needed them to be finished before I worked on the rest of the landscape because it would be very messy to try and work on them after. So now I'm just going through and adding in some of the bushes and you can see that that's really like helping the lighthouse and the hut to feel like they're back a little bit further on the cliff and um, I'm obviously working my way forward. I'm putting in a dark color where I'm going to be putting uh, some bushes and trees and also there's some greenery that's running in the cliffs that go underneath so I'm just adding in that greenery. I'm also working further on the water and adding in a bit more sea foam because there was quite a lot of it down the bottom of these cliffs because there was a lot of rocks that were in the water and so every time the water even like went over the top of them it was causing the water to be really foamy so down the bottom of these cliffs is this really beautiful bright blue and all of this sea foam and it's just so spectacular and you feel really small when you're looking at this landscape because it is just such a such a beautiful place and it's so vast and um, yeah it makes you feel small uh, in a good way and uh, yeah now I'm just adding in the details for the rest of my cliff top I've added in my bushes and I'm adding in some rocks and I'm pretty happy with how this is looking there's not a heck of a lot left to do so just um yeah really just trying to get in some extra details and uh, make sure that it's all finished and looking how I want it to look and this is my completed painting I have just finished the painting um what's the time actually oh cool oh. so actually just as I finished the painting, a couple of police officers came up to me and I was thinking, ah, uh, oh, am, am I not meant to be painting here? And they're like, oh, we're looking for a missing person. I'm like, oh God, oh, that's not what I want to hear. I was like, alive? Hopefully. I'm like, oh God. <laughs> um, yeah, so that happened. Um, I think it's time to change areas, hey? <laughs> It has been five and a half hours and I have just finished the painting and I'm so happy with this one. I actually have been battling against such large winds and at some points the winds have been so bad they've been threatening to blow the canvas off the easel and like it's uh yeah my easel has been like blowing forward and like I don't know the bolts keep coming loose because of all the wind. Um, so it's been quite stressful actually and I'm not going to take a photo of this until I'm in a less windy spot. Um, However, I've just finished it and I think it looks amazing. All right, so here is the finished painting. Let's go in and take a closer look. So first of all, we've got some stormy skies happening and we've got a lighthouse and a little hut next to the lighthouse. We've got the path, which is actually the cliff top with some bushes. And then we've got the opening of the cliff and the ocean where it's coming into the cliff and a hill in the background and that's it. Guys, so I was just about to leave and guess who I found? It's not the missing person, but it's pretty cute. Check it out. Aww. Hey cutie. Hey. Oh. How 
cute is that? All right, we'll walk away from it so that it can eat its leaves in peace, but it's really cute. Okay, so here is the photo of my completed painting and I am so pleased with this painting and I'm really glad that I waited to take the photo because I took the photo of this painting on a sunny day and when the sunlight is on my painting you can just, you can see the colours so much better than on like an overcast day so you can really see the detail a lot better in this than you could in any of the bits of video and I really loved the ocean colour and the way that there was so much like sea foam and it was all just kind of cascading down off the lower parts of the cliff and I loved the limestone cliffs and just everything about this area. I also really just like the look of the Cape Nelson lighthouse. I feel like it's so pretty. This is also a really old lighthouse. So it was built in 1884 which I know isn't old compared to a lot of buildings in other countries but for Australia that's pretty old and it just recently underwent a 2.1 million dollar restoration so yeah i mean it's a beautiful lighthouse i don't know if it's 2.1 million dollars beautiful but it's beautiful i love this area so much there's so much texture in every element of the landscape here and the colors are just so beautiful even on a cloudy day you can see the colors are just spectacular i'm really happy with how this has turned out i am so happy with this painting if you guys enjoyed this video please be sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you all again next time bye